Hello everyone, I am Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Trails in the Sky the Third Part 67, officially longer than Trails 1. At least the, the let's play I did. Um but we still got a ways to go before we beat Trails 2. I I mean I would be very surprised if that happens. <laughs> this game was supposed to be short. I guess I mean it technically is, but I guess the store doors the star doors do add a lot of extra uh a time. And then plus, I played them slower because reading all the dialogue is obviously taking much more time than it is if I were to just play it on my own time and speed read everything. So uh, yeah, in the last video, we finished up Moon Door number 5, and then we started Moon Door number 4, which is resolving, revolving around young Estelle and young Joshua. Why not? They must have, been, they must have worked out where I am by now. So am I supposed to take this to mean that they're not interested in me anymore? So they just stole my memories and cast me aside? Yeah, that's kind of what they do. They're not good guys. But still, I still feel like... Like I've lost something really important to me. What is it? Just what have I... Jawa! What have I... Joshua! What? You dropped the children! Are you listening, Joshua? Man, I'm having like a lot of, I mean, it's still early morning, but I'm having a lot of throat congestion. Keep having to like pause my mic and clear my throat. Or mute my mic and clear my throat. Pause my mic. I mean, I guess technically you're pausing it. You're, you're pausing it from picking up any audio. Check this out. A large carrot. Isn't it cool I harvested this myself? And this eggplant too. It's so shiny. Um, actually, Estelle, it's an aubergine, not an eggplant. What? <sighs> you do know you scraped your knee, right? Huh? One day you'll learn to think before you leap, or at least learn to take care of yourself after. Come on, let me take a look at it. Uh, okay. She's got him. She's She's got him wrapped around her finger. It's too late, Joshua. It's too late. There's no turning back. That stings. Why do you just have disinfectant on you? Just endure it. It'll be over soon. I swear, she attracts scratches and scrapes like a magnet. It's a wonder she doesn't call it tetanus or something. Joshua? You really do love causing people trouble. I... I never asked you to do anything for me. That just makes you... What? Oh, cause. I was like, that just makes you... Yeah, I don't know why I was reading cause wrong. That just makes you cause people even more trouble. You don't do anything about your injuries or even notice them. It just makes it more work for others. You're a danger to yourself no matter how you look at it. Anyway, Joshua, why do you... Oh, she's cut the back of her hand, too. Where are you going to put that... Tell me where you're put... Tell me where you're going to put that stuff before doing it. I promise I know English. Joshua finished treating Estelle's wounds. There, I'm done. Try and take a bit more care in the future, unless you want to bring more of, a lot more of that stuff being a... Wah. 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 Oh no. What can we do? You don't need to do anything. Looking after them is my job. You go back to your own work. Um... Oh my god, he's a master child taker. Child caretaker. Wow, they stopped. You sure you're not their mom? I'm not even going to dignify that with an answer. Just go back to work. You're never going to finish if you're not doing anything. Okay, thanks Joshua. Thanks, huh? It's the harmonica, dude. Oh, he still got it. Why do my children have grass stains all over them? Well, I had to drop them to play the harmonica. It was going to be a really cool scene. He's so cool. 
I didn't know he could do that. Oh, you usually never hear this far into the, the bit. A handsome boy playing the harmonica beautifully with the setting sun in the background? There's a picture if I ever saw one. Did you know he could play a still? Uh, he's supposed to be my brother. He never told me at all. He's going to get a huge lecture later. Oh, Estelle. What are you getting so mad for? Well, hello there. There's no need to be so afraid. I'm but a humble magician. I'll heal your broken heart for you. Provided, of course, I am compensated. I finally understand. I finally know what I lost. Everything that was important to me, my happy memories, all that made me myself, that was the compensation I gave. All that remains now is a doll, a twisted, broken fragment of who I was. Someone who exists only to destroy what others love. I need to leave. If I stay here any longer, I'll end up destroying the happiness of everyone around me. I need to keep the things I care about as far away from me as possible, not close by. I need them to be far, far out of my reach. And I need to do it now, before the darkness within me contaminates this place forever. I need to leave. Before my very existence causes her irreparable harm. So it seems like he remembers a whole hell of a lot more than was really kind of let on. Now this is a banger. I can't believe him. Not even a Jumbo Mantis or Double Seahorse were enough to get a re reaction. He must really have fancy tastes. I mean, maybe he just doesn't like bugs? You know? I mean, not gonna lie, not a big fan personally. No one can resist the power of the Bug of Legends. Whatever you say, girly. Well, hello there, Estelle. What are you doing standing out here? Oh, I remember you. You're the one who has, like, the big... Not necessarily speech, but has the really nice scene with Joshua when you come back to, uh... Roland in Trails 2. Are you off to do some bug catching? I sure am, but today's not going to be just any bug catching day. Oh, do tell. <laughs> Today I'm going to make a special syrup that attracts bugs, and with it, I'll be able to catch a super amazing one. That's interesting. But seriously, sweetie, you're 11 now, and a girl. I think you should be starting to dress a bit more like one at your age. But there's a comfier and way easier to move around in. Or these are comfier and way easier to move around in. Anyway, bye. Estelle? Yeah, get your backwards gender notions out of here, lady. Estelle can dress however the hell she wants. First, I need to get all the ingredients I need to make super duper syrup. Okay, Alyssa should be able to give me some dragon beans, so that's easy. Then there's fresh milk and eggs. Tia will give me some of that nicely. Oh, uh, obviously you gotta check for new sneakers. Actually, it might be more fun to go check the shop for new sneakers. I forgot Estelle is a sneakerhead. She's got to get those fresh new Stragas. Hey, Estelle, take it easy. Uh, you're here to look at, uh, take it, you're here to look for, look at sneakers. You bet. Are there any new ones in? We sure do have nothing new at all. Sorry, kiddo. Our next delivery is due the 16th, if my schedule's any indication. The 16th? That's only a week away. Okay, one more week. Just one more week. Stay strong, Estelle. Uh, Estelle? Oh, hi. You came at just the right time. I just found some clothes that I think would look so cute on you. Today will be the day you finally get to realize your potential as a girl with some nice clothes. I can't wear them now. I'm gonna go bug catching. They'll just get dirty. Wait, I'm going bug catching. I almost forgot because I was thinking about sneakers. 
back to getting ingredients. So, I mean, Alyssa's closer, so... Should go there first. As if that little bundle of energy didn't have enough to power an airship, now she's got more than ever. I wonder what's got her so fired up. Oh yeah, you're Bar Chick. I remember you. Yeah, yeah. That's who I thought you were, but I couldn't quite remember. I still can't get over how cool Joshua was yesterday. I want to hear him play the harmonica again. Back off. He's ours. You'll be lucky if you get that out of him. He won't even talk now. He hasn't said a word since we heard him playing. What? For real? Yeah. Maybe it was my fault for taking his harmonica without permission and trying to play it too. Ah, oh, you silly thing. Listen, Estelle? Joshua doesn't seem to want to talk about it, but it feels to me like he's had some kind of painful experience that's bothering him. So... Oh, I know. You do? He's got something serious on his mind, I can tell. Sometimes I look at him and he looks like he's really in pain about something. But I don't think I'll be able to help him with whatever it is, even if I knew. So... That's why I just want to try and cheer him up my own way for now. That's really sweet of you. Anyway, give me some dragon beans. What? Like, the coffee beans? You're gonna use those for... That's a secret! You're so weird, Estelle. Okay, uh, hold on a sec. I'll go get some. Here you go. Dragon beans acquired. Now I gotta go to Tio's house. I need to get some fresh milk and eggs. What in the heck are you planning, Estelle? Yeah, <laughs> I'll show you later. You might pass out from surprise, though. You know what? I think I'm okay with not knowing. Anyway, see you later. Ah, <sighs> now she told me. Tio! Hey Estelle, what's up? Wait, forget it. I just know from how you're dressed. <laughs> Today's bug sketching is special though. But first I need some fresh milk and fresh eggs. What in heaven's name do you need those for? Don't tell me you've suddenly developed an interest in cooking or something. Well, Estelle explained what she was trying to do. But bug of legends? He up and trying to give Joshua the surprise of his life. I'm not sure I'm following all this. Let me try again. You're trying to make some kind of aromatic capable of attracting that bug. Probably. Just whatever you do, promise not to get any of it on me, alright? I won't, I won't. I don't know if I believe you. Dude, Estelle is something else, man. Well, here's what you wanted. Fresh milk and fresh eggs. Oh, and uh, one more thing before you go, Estelle. Hmm? If you really see him as your little brother, you should start gradually opening up to him about the past. Try getting him to do the same with you, too. Maybe try talking to him about your mom? Yeah, I can do that. Doesn't feel like the kind of thing you need to sit and have a big serious discussion about, though. We're always going to be together, so I think he'll get it eventually. Because we're family now. Well, I tried. That's a very you way to look at it, but I mean that in a good way. <laughs> Thanks, Tio. Okay, I've got everything I need now. All I need to do is head to Miss Wallet and catch me the Bug of Legends. Just you wait, Joshua. I'm gonna blow your socks off. Wait a second. She's not gonna go there all by herself, is she? And just what is this Bug of Legends thingy anyway? It's probably a monster that Estelle cannot handle. A girl's like negative level 10 right now. Oh, the clock tower. Maybe, maybe a quick little visit up to the top. Maybe I'll stop by for a little bit. Hey, it's the mayor. Oh? If it isn't young Estelle, what are you doing here? 
Uh, revisiting trauma. Oh, hi, Mr. Mayor. Were you thinking of playing in the clock tower? Well, playing's not the right word. The repairs on it were finally finished last month. Yeah, I know. The artisans of this town all put their heads together to try and make it as close to the original as possible. They tried to use as many of the original materials as they could, too. So, uh, what do you think? It looks almost exactly like it did, didn't it? Doesn't it? I guess. I don't really remember it that well, though. You know, looking at this clock tower fills you with a magical energy. It makes you feel like everyone in Rollet? No, like everyone I've ever met is supporting this town and wishing it well. It does? That's why this spot is really important to me. Oh. I gotcha. Just you wait, Joshua. I'm gonna go catch me the Bug of Legends. But pardon? Um, Estelle? Full speed ahead! Whatever was that about? You're better off not knowing, dude. Oh boy, the legendary Mistwald Forest, aka the I have no fucking clue where I'm going forest. <laughs> I can smell the scent of my prey. Dude, what is it with forests and trails games and me getting lost in them? I got lost in Mistwald Forest in the first game. I got lost in St. Croix Forest in the second game. I got lost in Mistwald Forest in the second game. Again, when you revisit it. And I have a feeling if they let us have control, I'm going to get lost for a third time. I'm surprised there hasn't been like a spot to save during any of this as well. Because all the other long moon doors have at least some period of control where you can save the game. I mean, I'm not really like needing to stop or anything, but I'm glad I didn't try and uh, start this moon door yesterday when I can only record the one video. I'm going with this one, it's just screaming, pick me! My girl is going to get a combi, or a Vespa Queen of Legends, with her, uh, with her honey on the tree. Today's the day Joshua loves bugs. I mean, this bug is legendary, he's in for the shock of his life. Um, that's a very large bug. And then Estelle died. That's how her story ends. She was eaten by a wild hog. Armadillo monster thingy. Rhino tank. Thank you for everything. Go rescue her, Joshua. Did something happen to her? Uh, no, it might not have. It's Estelle. She probably just tripped, but... Now, whatever may or may not have happened to her, it's got nothing to do with me anymore. She's got nothing to do with me anymore. <laughs> My man just has his swords on him? Still? We just let him walk around with those? Damn it. Okay, there's only four of them. This is mine. You can't have it. Go away. Shoo, shoo. Don't come any closer. Are, are you listening to me? Oh. -ho. What? Get behind me. Oh, he's Alton, dude. Okay, no, he's just evil eye. Now, uh, Joshua, why can't you do that at level 1 in, uh, <laughs> Trails 1 <laughs> when you're actually, like, you know, have four more years of training on you? This is about as much as I can do with my current stamina. They ran away? Um, Joshua? What is wrong with you? Huh? What are you even doing this far in a place this dangerous? Did you even stop to think what might happen? Is this new music? You're a child. Don't put yourself in any unnecessary danger. Why do you never stop to think before diving headfirst into anything? For once in your life, try and look before you leap. Otherwise... Joshua... 
You came at just the right time. That's not funny. If I hadn't... Look at this. I finally caught one. This is it. This is the bug of legends. What? It's huge. Isn't it cool? Um, Joshua? Something bad happened to you in the past, but you don't want to talk about it? Then I'm not going to force you to. I'll just wait until you feel ready to talk about it with me. Till then, I'll be right here by your side, waiting. The other thing I'll do is give you this bug, so cheer up, okay? <laughs> You're telling me that bug's somehow legendary? Because I don't do it so impressive about it. What? But it's huge! It's the most awesome bug in the entire world! Nope. Not in the slightest. Eh. Just you wait. I'll find a bug that'll amaze you even if I have to search forever and ever. So just you wait right here. <laughs> you amaze you more than any bug ever will. Shit, dude, that got me, man. That almost made me cry. Um, because I can't believe how much I've changed because of you. You're such a strange girl. It was then that I made a promise to myself. It was for my own good and no one else's. The only condition by which I would prevent something as unnatural as me to be allowed to live in this peaceful world? Doing so is the most cowardly thing I could have ever possibly done, but I hope you can forgive me. I was more concerned about that than continuing to deceive myself. On the final day. Hey, that's us! Oh, so now we're, now we're fast forwarding to them leaving. Wow, I can't believe how many people came to see us off! Thanks for coming. It means a lot that you came here to be with us. So, as I think you all know, Joshua and I are going to be going away from Libel for a while. We'll be traveling around the continent doing our bracer work for the various guilds in the countries we visit. We might be away for quite some time, too. Right now, we intend to travel across basically the whole continent. But one day, we'll come back here to Roland. We promise. Yeah, we will. We'll make sure we've grown so much that you won't be able to believe your eyes when we come back, too. I still can't believe you decided all this on your own without ever consulting your loving papa. Oh, they didn't? They did not. They may take in time off to come see them a real pain, don't let me tell you. Sorry about that, Dad. We realize he didn't give you much notice with this. It's something we discuss seriously, though. Hopefully you'll be able to believe what we're doing is for the best. As long as you're giving serious thought to what you're doing, you have my support. So go out there and do whatever you want to. I'll always be right here, waiting for you. Good to hear. Thanks, Dad. You're both veteran braces at this point, so I'm sure you don't need much in the way of advice. Instead, I'll keep it simple. From now on, it'll be up to you to decide what you need to learn and what you need to know. Focus on improving your powers of discernment. That's all I'll say. We'll be sure to take it to heart. Life as a bracer is very different in other countries compared to how it is here. I'm sure you're about to find out. But the fundamentals are the same. Just do as we taught you and I'm sure you'll be fine. Thanks. I'm sure we were, all we were taught will come in handy if we find ourselves in a bind. Yeah, if we like get transported to the space dimension of hell by uh, Kevin's sister that's reincarnated or something. I guess not really his sister, but you know, like his stand-in sister. It's complicated, okay? I'm sure you'll find it yourself able to handle anything You'll be able to handle anything you find yourself up against. We taught you ourselves, after all. Follow your hearts with your head held high, and you'll be just fine. That means a lot to us. We can't thank you enough for all you've taught us over the years, and I'm sure it'll keep coming in handy in the future, too. For real, we really owe you two. Oh, well, there's no need to thank me. I'm just doing what I always can as your big sister. Don't drink or any anything that seems funny while you're away, Estelle. Make sure you brush your teeth before bed, too, and that you don't get so caught up in work you forget to shower. And, and, easy now, Stella. 
she's not a child anymore, you know? She knows how to take care of herself. I hope she can, because if you don't look after yourself, Estelle, I'll be showing up in your dreams. <laughs> the scary part is, I wouldn't put it past you to find a way to do that. Oh, don't worry, that really won't be necessary, I swear. You take good care of her too, Joshua. And remember, there's always a job available for you at my shop if you want it. Yeah, you could be like a legendary world-class bracer, or you could work at the weapon shop. So come back safely, you hear? I will. Please take care of yourself while we're away. I don't want you to go, Estelle. You won't forget about me, will you? Who are you again? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Yo, Tio, what happened to your hair? It's all, like, dark now. Wasn't it, like, bright blue? Come on now, stop crying. Of course I won't. When we settled in wherever we end up next, we'll write to you right away, okay? Look after Alyssa while I'm away, okay, Tio? I will, I will. You make sure not to let Joshua get, get away while you're out of the country, too, okay? What? Duly noted. Do you two really have to go? Joshua! Oh, look at that. You've got the twins crying buggets now, too. It's no surprise this would be hard on them. I've been looking after them ever since they were babies. Of course they'll miss you. <laughs> I've got tons of great memories of them to keep me company while, the, while we're away, thankfully. It's probably going to be a while before we can see any of you again. But you'll never leave our thoughts. Promise. I'm going to miss you. The Bose bound airliner will be departing shortly. All passengers, please board the airship at this time. That means you two. You're holding up the line for everyone else. Oh dear, looks like we're out of time. Well then, take care of yourself. We will. You too, sir. Joshua? Have you made up your mind then? I have. I want to be Joshua Bright after all. I know the name distinction might not be a big deal in the eyes of others, but it is for me. It's part of me taking the first and most difficult step on this journey. It's part of making choices only I can make for myself. By the time we come back home, I want to have the strength to proudly declare living the rest of my life alongside you, Estelle, and everyone in Roland. Even after taking that first difficult step, it's not like I can guarantee it'll get any easier. Maybe on some days it'll be so hard that I'll want to give up. Right now though, right now? I'm more happy than I'm more than happy to go out there and find my own path to walk. If I can do that, I can finally feel like I'm working towards being the person I want to be. Very well then. That's the kind of positive attitude I wanted to see. It suits you. <laughs> Thanks. That's the best compliment you could have possibly given me. I swear, what is it with the men in our family? Wanna kill the two of you to talk so that the rest of, you, the rest of us can understand what you're saying? But whatever, come on Joshua, get on board or you're gonna be left behind. I'm coming, I'm coming. Well, see you around. Estelle, when you come back here next, I'm gonna be a bracer just like you. <laughs> now that I wanna see. You don't think I can do it, do you? I'm serious, by the time you get back, I'll be a bracer, I swear. I think I wanna become one too. So, don't worry. We'll be back, we promise. I can't wait to work you two to the ground as co-workers. I'll be counting on you to have my back. So don't let us down, okay? I won't. Never forget that there's always a home for you here. No matter how long you're away, that'll never change. We won't. Thanks, Dad. We'll see you later. So that's the that's the best best side story so far. Memory, eight thousand Mira. Let's go. That was uh. I mean, I'll be honest. If I wasn't recording, the the part where she presents the bug would have made me cry. So.
<laughs> very, very good. That's about the highest compliment I can give a, a media property. So, what, what's next on the agenda? We still have Moondor. No, we're done with Moondors. We still have the last Star Door. And we've got the Arena. Or the last level of the Arena and this. I Actually, I know what you need to do now. Because when I read, it said you need all level 5 Orbments. And that kind of confused me. Um, at the time. But now I know what it means. It means all generic level 5 Orbments. Like... Because I was thinking it meant you need all special ornaments or all these level 3 ones. Like, but they actually mean, like, these are level 5 ornaments, right? Because they're essentially action 5s, but they're... So you need all the gems. And what gems are we missing? I feel like we have them all. Well, we don't have a max hit, I don't think. Unless Joshua has it? No, Joshua does. Well, let's go back to the, uh, uh let's go back to base. I mean, I guess I could have just checked, but I mean, I feel like we should have had those already. So, quartz, earth, topaz. We have topaz. We have water. We have sapphire. Now, do you have to have them equipped? I don't actually know. Now, we may not have had a wind gem. So we have wood gems. We've got that. We got gold gems, we got silver gems, we got mirage gems. So, I think we can open that. Let's just go check real quick. We're not going to do it yet. What we'll actually do is we'll probably end the video, and then in between videos I'll set up everyone's ornaments and equipment, and then we'll go to the arena. And we'll do it with Annalise in the party, because apparently her sword gets upgraded, from what I read. Now, I don't know, even with the upgrade, we probably won't really use her, but I'd be interested to see how much, how good it gets. Okay, so we can't open it now. I guess we were missing that Agi 5. Also, what's the memory thing? Um, door locations, are okay. Don't really need- well, we might need it for this one, because we still don't know where the star door is there, but... I don't really know what this, uh... This is. I mean, I know they explained it, it's like, it's, is it a different area than Ge than Gehenna? Or is it just the same area, but you can bring everyone there? I'm not entirely sure. We'll uh, probably check that out, probably in the next video a little bit. Um... I doubt the, uh, the arena will take the entire video, so... Let's go back. Let's see, what party do we want to use? Let's see, we could maybe at least kind of come up with that. I mean, I kind of want to use Zen. Even though, I mean, you know, he's, he's the reigning arena champion of the world. Not really, but, you know. I want to bring him just because we rarely, we rarely use him and he kind of fits the arena thematically. Even though the arena doesn't really have, like, any story stuff associated with it. We could bring Kevin, but we've been using Kevin a lot. I would like to use someone different. Could bring Agate. Like, maybe Agate. Zen. Annalise. And then Oliver, maybe? We got our magic damage. We got Zen to exist. And Agate and Annalise can do okay-ish physical damage. Agate mainly for the AoE of his ult. And Annalise, you know... She's there. Not necessarily the greatest party, but I think we'll be fine. Um, yeah, we should also talk to everyone. But we can save that for maybe some, some time killer in between. If we like get to a point where we don't want to start a door or something. I am Extra Cheesy 87 Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.